What's up, what's up? It's your homeboy, Maul the Pimp, a.k.a. MTP, and welcome to another edition of Storage from the Pimp. This right here, uh, these two people I'm going to talk about, this is real sentimental, you follow what I'm saying? Uh, I want to talk about meeting and doing music with two people that are no longer with us. For one, may know the shorter from New Orleans, rest in peace, and Snoopy Blue the Low from L.A., rest in peace. I was blessed with the opportunity to record and do music with both of these people before they passed and before they departed this earth. So the first story I'm gonna give you is about Magnolia Shorter out of New Orleans. So uh, all y'all know, I worked with BG from Cash Money, uh, BG from Cash Money Records when we moved forward and started his own label, Chopper City Records, you follow what I'm saying? So I moved to New Orleans in 2004. Prior to moving to New Orleans, I was already aware of who Magnolia Shorter was, you follow what I'm saying? She was like uh, considered one of the queens of bounce music in New Orleans. So with that being said, when I finally get to New Orleans in 2004, you know, she's still somebody who's relevant to doing her thing in, in, with the bounce scene, with the music scene in New Orleans, right? So around this time, this was probably 2009, I think, 2008 or 2009. Uh, we, we mean the Chopper City Records, we would do this thing every other Tuesday at a club on the West Bank called Club Caesars. We would do this thing called... Uh, Chopper City Tuesdays, right, on the West Bank across the river in Club Caesars. So that would be every other Tuesday, so two weekends out the month. I mean, yeah, two weekends out the month, we would do Chopper City Tuesdays where BG and the Chopper City Walls would perform, and we would pretty much make it like a BG night. So this particular night right here, <clears throat> uh, of course, BG and the Chopper City Walls were performing. Big Frida was the host for the show, and Magnolia Shorter was an open act, right? And I've been knowing who she was and been knowing her whole reputation. She was one of the, I think she was the first female artist that was signed to Cash Money before they got the deal. It was either her or Miss T, you follow me? But that one, one of them two was the first female artist that was signed to Cash Money. So we in the club this night now. Big, Big Frida is the host, Magnolia Shorter is performing. So uh, I see her walk in the club or whatever. I tell BG, because I've been knowing who she was, I tell BG. Hey, man, I want to fuck her. I want to fuck her, man. I want to do some music with her, man. He looked at me and said, all right, that's what's up, Ma. He just walked off. It was me, him, and I think Hot Beasel was right, uh, standing right there together. I whispered that in his ear. Now, Hot Beasel from out the Magnolia, too. And Magnolia Shorter is from out the Magnolia. You follow what I'm saying? So I whispered that in BG ear, like, man, that's Magnolia Shorter. Man, I want to work with her, man. Woop, woop. He said, all right, that's what's up. He just walked off. He walked off. He whispered something in her ear. I don't know what he said to her. Once so she whispered the shit in her ear, she came over to me and was like, hey, what's up? What's up, my, uh, I'm, I'm shorter. I'm, uh, I'm making all this shorter. Duke told me that you want to fuck with me and woo this and that. Duke is BG. Duke, Duke told me you want to fuck with me and woo this and that. So uh, I was like, yeah, man, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. I want to do some shit with you. I got an album I'm working on right now. Man. I, want, I want to get you on the album. She was like, all right, cool. Take my number. So she gave me a number. I called her. You know, we locked in right there in the club, text numbers or whatever. You follow what I'm saying? The following week, uh, she came to the Chopper City Record Studio and we did a song. The song ended up being called I Wanna Fuck You In The Car. You follow what I'm saying? So she did the hook, did a verse on the song for me. That song ended up going on the album I did called, a compilation album called Bet Money We Got It Right, which is a collaboration project between Pimp Hollick Entertainment and Dub Set Promotions, which is my cousin Aunt Banks' label. So the song went on that album, Bet Money We Got It Right. You follow what I'm saying? And it got, it got some traction off of it. Actually, matter of fact, when BG heard that motherfucker, he was like, say my old bro, damn, I need you let me get on that bitch, you heard me? You didn't get on that bitch, you heard me, you feel me? So he, he was fucking with it like that, you know what I'm saying? But it was a hot song called I Wanna Fuck You In The Car. It came out on Bit Money, We Gotta Write The Compilation Album. You dig? And uh, and then uh, from there, we was just kind of built in. We, we, we was locked in from there, you know what I'm saying? She liked the song. She saw how my craft was as an artist, you know what I'm saying? She liked me as a person. After we did that song, the following week, she called me and was, and, and let me say, she didn't charge me a dime for the song. She came here, I sent her the shit, she wrote the shit, came up there and recorded, didn't charge me a dime. You follow what I'm saying? Didn't charge me nothing, did it on the strength. On the strength of me or the, on the strength of BG, but she did it on the strength. It was nothing involved in that. A week later, she called me and was like, uh, say, Ma, I got this song with Miss T, uh, who was another artist on Cash Money. I got this song with Miss T, we wanna do this, can you record? Because I was an engineer at the time, too, in the Chop City studio. Can you come there and you record the song in the studio for us? No problem, yeah, I'll do that, you feel me? I got you. So she came up there, I engineered and mixed a song with her, Miss T. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it, but I engineered and mixed a song with Magnolia Shorty and Miss T. 
So from that, we was even more locked in. So we would text every once in a while, and we would see each other out and about in the walls, we would uh, hug and all that old shit, you feel me? So uh, I come to Chattanooga, right? And then I get a call, coincidentally, from Vinny, actually, Vinny the Sharp. He called me and was like, uh, hey man, you heard this artist name, uh, this rapper named Nick Magnolia Shorter from New Orleans. Say, yeah, I know her, that's my dog. Yeah, wh why? Man, she got killed last night. I'm like, man, you playing, bro. He don't even know that I know her. You follow what I'm saying? I said, Magnolia Shorter, yeah, she got killed last night, man. I saw it on, I saw it on the internet or whatever. That, man, she got hit like 30 some times or whatever. Woo, woo, this and that. I'm like, man, I know her, bro. You know her for real? Yeah, I know her, man. I got a song with her. That's my dog right there. You feel me? And then on top of that, she called and did a voiceover for my voicemail on my my, my newest album at the time called uh, The Wake Up Call. She called and she participated on that for me. So I'm like, man, I know Shorter. I know her, know her. You saying she got killed? He told me whatever he had saw on the internet. So I called, uh, I called Carol Dorsey. I called Carol from Shopper City, BGNT. And she had pretty much gave me the layout of what really happened. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, she got killed in the same apartment complex, which was called Georgetown. In New Orleans East, what BG Mama was living, actually. You follow what I'm saying? In New Orleans East, off, also off of Morrison. You follow what I'm saying? So when I heard that, it shit, shit kind of just like, man, that shit broke my heart, man, because I knew this girl. Man, she was a real genuine soul. You follow what I'm saying? And to have been able to work with her, bond with her, and then hear that she got killed. You follow what I'm saying? Whatever happened, that's, I don't know. That's whatever. But to hear that, you follow what I'm saying? Knowing that. I knew her as a person. You follow what I'm saying? That was kind of like it was that was that was real uh, heartbreaking for them, man. Cause she had real potential. She was a legend in the streets of New Orleans, and then me being a visitor to New Orleans for her to embrace me as if I was family. You follow what I'm saying? I respect and I loved her for that right there. So that broke my heart to hear that she got killed. So rest in peace, Magnolia Shorter. Rest in peace, uh, Renetta Lowe. You follow what I'm saying? Salute Uptown Third Ward. You hey, did. Hey, Pimp. I don't know if you remember this or not. But that actually happened like three or four days after she did that voice drop. Did it? Yeah. Nah, nah, okay. Yeah, damn. Okay, yeah. Damn. Because, you know, right for after. For the wake up call. Yeah, because right after that, I called you and was like, damn, Pimp, did you hear? She just, like, bro, we just did the voiceover. That's cold, like, bro. Like, it wasn't. That's cold. It, I'll give it maybe a week, but I think it was like three or four days. That's cold. That's cold, bro. Because, I mean, when I called you, you were still fucked up about that. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, man. No, this short. Rest in peace, Renelda Lowe, man. You feel me? Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't know. I ain't know it was that shot for real. Yeah, it was, it wasn't long after she did that drop. Damn, I ain't know that. Like yeah. three to seven days, and I think seven is might be too much. Damn. So yeah, man. Make no this shorter. The song with her is called "Fuck You in the Car." It was on the Bit Money. We got a right compilation. And what my guy Rick is talking about, she did a voicemail drop for me for my, my album that came out after that called A Wake Up Call. You follow what I'm saying? And he's saying if we got the call seven days after that. I can't remember the specific date, but you know what I'm saying? I know it was close. So for him to say that, then yeah. So I'm just blessed to even have been in her presence and have a relationship and a bond with her and to say that I was able to do music with her before her uh, untimely passing. So rest in peace, Magnolia Shorter, man. From all the pimp, salute. Yeah.